All right, welcome back to One Bar and Lopagus Show. I'm One Bar with Lopagus. Vikings are one and oh, uh, but we're still going to do losers. We're still going to do top five losers of the game. Not fair. We get it. We'll get some. We'll get a little flack in the I comments like for this, but we got we got to keep it real. Top mm-hmm. five losers. Remember, this is powered by BetUS. Head over to BetUS.com. Use the promo code YouTube150. That's YouTube150 for a nice little 150% deposit bonus up to $2,000. BetUS. Great customer service, fast payouts. Hit it up, betus.com. Do not forget the YouTube 150 for a nice little deposit. Yeah, if you forget that code, you will be a loser, just like the five guys we were talking about in this video. And again, you you beat the Giants very handily and killed. (laughs) We killed the Giants. This might be a little nitpicky. This might be a little nitpicky. This might be a little nitpicky, but who do you got first? Well, let's go with, uh, I don't see an obvious one. There's no obvious. Early in the game, Ed Ingram was pretty bad. I mean, he was getting dominated by Dexter Lawrence, who's a very good player. I feel like later in the game, he kind of solidified it, was better. But Ed Ingram early was a, was a pretty big turn in this game. Well, I mean, Dexter Lawrence, a lot of, a lot of interior offensive linemen are going to be losers against him. Yeah. So we have to acknowledge that. And really, mm-hmm. I mean, there was some people in the post game that had the interior offensive line as a winner. So uh Dexter Lawrence could have wreaked a lot more havoc Ed Ingram just it didn't look good and you know what it's going to happen against him is what it is Ed Ingram but I, I give Ed Ed cr- uh, credit for like I mean the way it started was very bad like, yeah I know I, yeah over, absolutely and I felt Don't like he got back. better as the game went through and with a player like Dexter Lawrence you want to limit him like you know the big players are going to be there and he did limit it but the way he was destroyed early puts him on this list. Uh, just real quick, head over to BetUS. You can see right here how easy it is. Tomorrow night, Monday night game, Jets Niners. Who are you taking? Yeah. Minus four Niners? I'm surprised it's only it's that close. Yeah, I'm taking the Niners. I'm taking that for sure. You're taking the Niners. Jets Aaron Rodgers is just going to not do any damage, huh? That's a really good Niners defense. It's, it's a, one of the best teams in the NFL. I mean, this is a Super Bowl contender here. I'm not buying into the Jets hype as much as everybody else is. So, yeah, I'm taking that. All right, remember the promo code YouTube150. Uh, all right, speaking of zeros, let's get back to the losers. Who else we got? <laughs> let's go with our punter, Ryan Wright. Ryan Wright, a guy who uh, the Vikings have been working out a lot of punters prior to this game, and I don't know if he did enough to uh, to make him not work out more. We'll see how serious they are. Uh, he averaged 42 yards a punt. He had a couple of duds. He had a couple of boomers too, but he again, did. Ryan Wright's thing is inconsistency. He, this is the game he needed to be the most consistent. It yeah. didn't happen. We love Ryan Wright. He just didn't have a very good game. Yeah, and the fact they've worked out not just one punter, but multiple punters, and also with you know a close battle with Seth Burnett in training camp. I don't know. Uh, is this the only game we're going to see Ryan run as our Ryan Wright as our punter? I don't know. I but... honestly, I honestly hope not. Like, give it, give it like till week four. Yeah. If he Dude. continues to crap the bed, fine. Give him till week four. Maybe that's too long of a leech, but that, that's what I want. Yeah. All right. Let's move you on know what, to a... what you might want. What? Brand Tark and Jersey giveaway. We're giving this I puppy do. away tomorrow. You got to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment with a record prediction. If you've already done this in video previous videos, do it again. Just gives you a better chance, but you have to be subscribed. We're giving this away tomorrow, Monday. I, I do want that. I want that very much. I want that very much. Yes, you do. Uh, I also want uh, C.J. Ham not to fumble the ball very much, and he did, and he's on his list for that. You can't, you can't do this list without putting him on there. Yeah. I'm sorry if he fumbled the ball that early in the game. That could have been a turning point. Like generally in Vikings games, what we've seen is he fumbles the ball, he scores a touchdown, all of a sudden everything goes sideways. Yeah. Luckily for us, it did not happen. But uh, he was upset with himself. He was very, you could tell, he yeah. was very mad as he should have been because he doesn't get the ball that often. You can't fumble it. But uh, it, nobody can complain that he's on the list. Yeah, and, and kudos to the Vikings defense for holding the Giants to three points after that because they had the ball like inside the 20. It was crazy. Uh, but, again, this is what, the, you know, like you mentioned, like this is the, the – you see the Vikings play out and for your opponent, something like that happens, and all of a sudden this team just kind of hangs in there and then they build off that, and all of a sudden you're like, you got yourself a game. Fortunately, I, that wasn't the case today. But C.J. Ham fumbling that ball, it, it, it made it feel like that was going to happen. So thank God it didn't. Yeah. It's safe to say that this uh, defense bailed out CJ Ham. So they love him. Everybody loves him, and they did him a favor. Who else we got? Let's go Jay Ward. Jay Ward out there on special teams. And every time I saw him on the field, I got very nervous. 
at this point, like we didn't even have him making the final cuts. Uh, I'm surprised he was active. I'll be surprised, even more surprised if he's active next week. Uh, like the punt where he was just right around it, just begging yeah. to get touched. Uh, and I believe he had a penalty as yeah, well. Penalty as well, yeah. Like I, I don't know. They must see something in him in practice. Nobody like come game day, nobody sees anything. Yeah, every, I mean, every time they, the ball is bouncing around there and Jay Ward's like right there, like, get, get away from the ball. Just, just why are you that close to it? Why even be go on the sidelines. an issue? Yeah, just go away. Go away, Jay Ward. It's what we want you to do. Uh, the penalty again is another thing. And I don't know. I just, I don't get it with Jay Ward, what this team sees in him. Maybe there's something. I don't see it. I don't well, know. let's remember, we are 1-0, and oh, baby. And we, we are 1-0. and oh. like, out of those Again, giants. this is a negative video. We were very positive because the Vikings – dominated today so again this is nitpick we're picking what a guy on special teams who's around yeah, the ball he has one penalty thing. that shows how good the game was uh we got one more and that last one is ivan pace jr our uh you know undrafted rookie phenom from a year ago he had six tackles today but he also had some penalties yeah, and, he, and I mean, everybody was getting in there, getting after it, and he really wasn't. Uh, I mean, I believe he did have a quarterback hit. I I, I think he did, but I, I got high expectations for him. We're not going to call him a phenom by any means yet, but uh, right. he, he definitely made the team last year, and he, he played very well. And what happens next? Step up, baby. Get better. And yeah. having two penalties and, one, and stupid. They were stupid ones. Punch a guy in the face. Thing. He punched him in the face. Yeah, I mean, uh, dude, come on, man. If you keep doing that, you're going to be on special teams, and that's all you're going to be playing. So, yeah. uh, Ivan Pace, expectations are higher this year. We expect better. We expect a more mature guy. He was the one talking about how you wanted the green dot in his helmet. You're doing that shit. You ain't going to be it. You ain't going to get it. No. He's going to get the, uh, the brown dot. Well said. Well said. He's going to get the brown dot. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pace. we got to throw him on there. But let's remember, there's yes. no losers today. We won. We're 1-0. and uh, and, and it's a beautiful, beautiful feeling. We we kicked the hell out of them. Uh, also, remember, head over to BetUS and use that YouTube 150 code for 150% deposit bonus. Let's go. Yeah. Hell, yeah. And also remember this. The final episode of the Golden Girls aired May 9th, 1992, and that saw Dorothy meeting Blanche's uncle and marrying him, who was played by Leslie Nielsen, his uncle's name. Uncle's name was Lucas. Hell of a 